learning and I hope you all are as excited as I am to learn something new. Before we start today's lesson, how about a quick game of bingo? To play this game, I will show you some pictures and you have to guess the bingling sound and help me cross out the relevant letter on the board. Let's have a look at the first picture. Can you tell what this is? Absolutely correct. This is a zebra. Now, do you know the beginning sound of zebra? Wonderful. That's right. Let's cross out Z. Let's see what's up next. Do you know what this is? Yes, that's right. It's a van. Now, do you know which letter we have to cross out? Amazing! V is the correct answer. Now, what do we have here? Well done, children. It is yogurt. Now, what is the beginning sound of yogurt? That's right, y yogurt. Do you know the name of the sea animal? Wonderful, it is indeed whale. Now what is the beginning sound of whale? Well done. Wha Let's cross it out. Now have a look at the next picture. Hmm, yes, it's an umbrella. Now what is the beginning sound of umbrella, everyone? That's right, a umbrella. Let's cross it out. I have one last picture for you all. Let's see what it is. Yes, that's right, juice. And what is the beginning sound? Wonderful everyone, I'm so impressed. J, J, juice. And that's a bingo. Well done everyone, that was really impressive. Now we will learn the letter X. We will learn the sound, action, vocabulary and the formation. Look everyone, I'm taking pictures with my camera. Let's all pretend to take an x-ray with an x-ray camera and make the sound X. X. This is so much fun. It's your turn to try. I know how much you love to listen to stories. So here's a story that will help you learn the words that have X sound. In the deep, deep woods lived a naughty little fox named Max. On a beautiful summer morning, Max was playing hide and seek with his friend Rabbi. Come on Rabbi, let's play hide and seek. I'll hide and you look for me. Max was hiding in the bushes and it was Rabbi's turn to look for him. Just then, an old farmer arrived in the woods with his ox and stopped his cart near the bush in which the little fox was hiding. Max peeked from the bushes and saw a box full of red, beautiful apples. Max really loved apples so he jumped right into the cart. He kept on eating until he had eaten six big juicy apples. By that time, the farmer had returned with his ox. The little fox panicked. He tried to run away, but fell. The farmer instantly took the fox to a vet, where the doctor did an x-ray. Luckily, the fox had broken no bones. 
the farmer took the little fox to his home and asked his wife to take care of him. The farmer's wife mixed the medicine in milk and fed the little fox herself. The kind farmer and his wife took excellent care of the fox and soon all his wounds healed. So children, did you like the story? I'm so glad you liked the story. And yes, it teaches us how to take care of all animals that are in our surroundings and be kind and compassionate towards them. Moving on, I have a very nice poem for you, which we can sing together to learn the words that have X sound. So are you ready to sing? I saw Mrs. Fox, Mrs. Fox, Mrs. Fox, Mrs. Fox. I saw Mrs. Fox with a box on a Sunday morning. She had a cake in her box, in her box, in her box. She had a cake in her box, in her box. She had six candles for the cake, for the cake, for the cake. She had six candles for the cake, for the cake. She fixed the candles on the top, on the top, on the top. She fixed the candles on the top, on the top. The wax was melting on the cake, on the cake, on the cake. The wax was melting on the cake, so she blew out the candles. She cut the cake and gave her friends, gave her friends, gave her friends. She cut the cake and gave her friends. It's time to read some new words with X sound. So are you ready? Let's begin. Fox 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 Six Wax Fix 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 Marvelous! You all did a splendid job. Keep it up everyone. It's time to learn the formation. Let's write X together. Down and across. Lift your pencil. Down and across again in the opposite direction. X, X. It's time to say goodbye. I hope you all like the story and the poem. I'll see you next time. Adios.